If these lions couldn't be taught to take it easy, they'd be taken out. I decided to go all the way in. I'd live with them all day. You can see me, I can see you. Every day. Showering with a bucket that you ate your food out of. And night for six straight months. Here's a track of one of the girls here. I'd get into their heads. Look what she's looking at. And let them get into mine. Hey. This is my journey. If I make friends with you, I think I can make friends with everybody. This is my adventure. Hey! Cut it out! I'm Dave Salmoni, and I'm going into the pride. I need a name for my quad. It's like a rocket ship. Maybe it's just rocket ship, rocket. That's what it is, it's rocket. I like it. Okay, rocket, let's go find some lions. Finding lions isn't always easy in a huge game park 10 times the size of Manhattan. The lions had been implanted with radio transmitters, so I had a general idea of where they were. Emphasis on the word general. And if tracking down rogue lions wasn't stressful enough, I had a film crew watching my every move. And every one of those moves involved me getting as up close and personal as possible with the rogue pride. I've always said about any big predator, but especially lions, the only way you're really, really gonna get to know them is just hanging out, spending time with them. And the more you spend time with them, the more you'll really understand the intricacies of lions. Oh, no, cubby. Why don't you tell your cubbies to go back? I was already on a first-name basis with this whole crew. Brutus, the alpha male, was protector and sire for Queen Cleo. Her sister, Winnie, and the four cubs they raised communally. Now, lions may look alike, but they don't act alike. Brutus, his brother Otis, and Winnie seemed to be pretty easygoing as long as I kept my distance. Cleo, well, Cleo pretty much hated me on first sight. Now here's where that up close and personal part comes in. I needed to get off the quad and walk straight into the pride. I call these little excursions bushwalks. And believe me, this is the real scary part. But they needed to learn that humans could deal with them on their own terms, on their own turf. And there's no better way to do that than just going in on foot. Just me and my trusty crook. Dave seems pretty confident about stopping a wild lion with his crook. Now, he says he's done it many times before with captive cats. Personally, I've never seen it. In my experience with lions, my penny would definitely be on the line. I tried to get up close and personal with Winnie, but she wasn't having any of it. Yeah, I hear you. All right, backing away. I'm just gonna back up because you're growling. Good girl. Communication's the key, honey. Does that feel better? That's better, isn't it? So what I'm trying to do is try to find her comfort level. Sort of, how far back do I have to go for her to relax and just watch me? And then start to realize I don't mean her any trouble. Just calm down, I'll see if I can take a step forward. She's 
That's a girl. A good girl. There's times when uh, I can feel myself. I get so excited to start to interact. My heart rate starts going, and they'll hear it in my voice. The calmer you are, the more you trust them, they'll pick that up. Hey, sweetie. You're a good girl. Okay. What you think? That's right, I'm still here. <laughs> 